our topic is about factoring higher order polynomials. Let's have problem number one. Write the prime factors of p of x is equal to x cubed minus 7x minus 6. So we can solve for the factor of this given expression if we have the roots. We can solve the root of this expression simply by rational root theorem. So rational root theorem, katulad na discussed last time, possible roots is p over q, where p is the factors of the constant. The constant here is negative 6. And q is the factors of the leading coefficient. Here, our leading coefficient is 1. So p over q now for the constant factor, negative 6, we have 1, 2, 3, and 6. Kasi 6 can be divided by 1, the answer is 6. 6 can be divided by 2, the answer is 3. 6 can be divided by 3, the answer is 2, exacto. And 6 by, by 6 is 1. So lahat ng factors of negative 6. For Q, we have 1 as the numerical coefficient of the, of the first term with the highest exponent. Ang tawag po dito sa number na, nandito is leading coefficient, yung may mataas na exponent ng variable x. Q is positive negative 1 lang kasi wala namang ibang factor si 1. Next po, if we simplify this, the possible roots are, pag dinivide mo lahat to by positive negative 1, the result is itself pa rin. So 1, 2, 3, and 6 pa rin. All positive and negative. By synthetic division, find for the roots of the, of the given expression, P of x is equal to x cubed, Yung first natin with highest power of 3. Itong polynomial na to is in the third degree kasi highest is 3. Followed by we don't have x to the power of 2. Kung i -re rewrite natin siya in standard form or descending order. So maglalagay tayo ng 0 para kay x raised to 2. Followed by x raised to 1 which is negative 7 ang coefficient. And negative 6 for the constant term. So again, standard form is 3, 2, 1, 0. Standard form is decreasing order of power para pwede mong sabihin na it is in standard form. Get all the numerical coefficient 1, 0, negative 7, and negative 6. If we try positive 1 here as our divisor or possible root 1, using B, mama, bring down 1, Multiply 1, add natin is 1, multiply 1, then add negative 7 is 1, negative 6, then multiply negative 6 and 1. The answer is negative 12. Masasabi mo na this chosen root is a root kung ang remainder ay 0. But then the remainder here is negative 12, therefore it is not the root of the given polynomial. Next. What if your x is negative 1? So p of x is equal to x cubed plus 0x squared minus 7x minus 6. Ito yung original. If x is negative 1 by synthetic division ulit, bring down 1, multiply, negative 1, add, negative 1, multiply, 1, add, negative 6, multiply, the answer is positive 6. When we add this 1, 0 na. Therefore, we can say that negative 1 is the root of the given original equation. Or yung p of x is equal to x cubed minus 7x minus 6. The depressed equation now is x squared minus x minus 6. Bakit? Dito po siya nang galing sa sagot ng synthetic division. Magbabawas tayo ng degree. From third degree, magiging second degree na lang. So 1 coefficient dito. Negative 1 coefficient of x. The negative 6 is the constant. Next. Solve for the other root. So ang natira is x squared minus x minus 6. Ito yon. By factoring, mas mabilis. Since negative 6 factors are 2 and 3. Ano daw yung factor ng negative 6 na pwedeng ang maging sum ay negative 1? So, if we try 2 and negative 3, 2 times negative 3 is negative 6, 2 plus negative 3 is negative 1, which is correct. Therefore, we have the prime factor, yung una, ang root natin is negative 1. Pag kinonvert mo siya into factor, we have x minus x plus 1. So, x plus 1. Then, the rest of the factor is x plus 2 and x minus 3. So, pagtatabi-tabihin lang natin, then, i -re rewrite mo siya na equivalent dito sa original. Next example. Problem number two. Complete the prime factorization of P of X is equal to negative 37X squared plus 9X to the fourth plus 4 if one of its factor is 3X plus 1. So again po, given po natin ang factor na 3X plus 1. This time, the degree is 4 kasi 
mataas, pinakamataas na exponent is 4. The degree of this polynomial is in the fourth degree. So, arrange it first in standard form. So, by synthetic division, standard form po niyan is, unahin natin yung may highest power, 9x to the fourth power, positive. Sunod, wala tayong power of 3. So, we have to fill in 0x cubed. Si x squared, meron tayo, negative 37x squared. And we don't have x to the power of 1 pa rin, so mag assign tayo ng 0 as its numerical coefficient. Plus, the constant, inatira, is 4. Then, by synthetic, ang divisor natin is 3x plus 1 kasi ito yung one of its factor. If we equate it to 0, so 3x is equal to negative 1. Dalawa yung case ng synthetic division natin, pwedeng bidima-dima, pwedeng bimama. So in this case, we have ax plus b na divisor or factor. Na si 3 ay a, tapos si b naman is yung negative 1 na nanggaling dito kay positive 1 na nagpalit lang ng sign. Again, si a dito hindi magpapalit, si b magpapalit ng sign. Then we have bidima-dima mnemonic word for the process or step of doing the synthetic division. So, kunin natin lahat ng numerical coefficient, 9, 0, negative 37, 0, and 4. We have two divisors now, one for A, one for B. Si A is on the left side, 3. Si B is in the right side naman. So, bring down 9, divide 3, multiply, the answer is negative 3. Add, negative 3. Divide, negative 1, multiply, 1, Add, negative 36, divide, negative 12, add, I multiply rather, so 12, add, 12, divide, magiging 4, multiply, magiging negative 4, then add 0. So since it is a factor, magkakaroon ka ng 0 remainder. If we rewrite the depressed equation, again, ang depressed equation is yung equation na natira nung dinivide mo yung isang factor. So, on the first equation now is 3x cubed minus x squared minus x minus 12x plus 4. Ito naman ang hahanapan natin ng bagong mga factors. Meron tayong isa, 3x plus 1. Ano kaya yung susunod? So, since wala tayong clue, mag-set ka ng clue mo by rational root theorem. So, P over Q, again, si P ay factor of the constant, which is 4. Si Q ay factors of the leading coefficient here is 3. P over Q. For factors of constant 4, meron kang 1, 2, at saka 4. Why? Si 4 divided 1 is 4, pwede. Si 4 divided by 2, pwede. Exacto, 2. Si 4 divided by 3, hindi pwede. So, it can't be a factor of 4. And si itself ay pwedeng i-divide si itself. So, si 4 divided by 4 is 1. At tatlo lang po ang factor na pwede kay 4. Times 2 kasi positive negative. Next, for the Q or factors of the leading coefficient, 3. Ang meron lang is itself and 1. So, ito lang. So, since dalawa po ang quotient, ay ang uh, dalawa ang ating leading coefficients factor, isa-set natin siya isa-isa. So, meron kang 1, 2, 4 para sa numerator. Gamitin natin yung unang denominator para sa lahat. So, we have 1, a positive, negative 1. And, pag ginamit naman natin si positive, negative 3, same numerator, ito yung kalalabasan. So, a total of Divide natin to by positive negative 1. 1 divide 1, 1. 2 divided by 1, 2. 4 divided by 1 is 4. Same here. 1 divided by 3 is 1 third. 2 over 3 is 2 third. 4 over 3 is 4 over 3. Or 4 thirds. So that means we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 possible roots. No need to try all of this. Ang gagawin natin is to depress the equation para po mas mabilis makita. The possible roots. Ayan, next. So again, this is the depressed equation nung tinanggal natin si 3x plus 1. From the possible roots, kukunin ko muna si x is equal to 1. What if ang x natin is equal to 1? What if lang? So kung okay yan, kung tumama yan, ang pwede natin maging factor ay uh, x, convert natin sa factor, x minus 1. Kung tatama siya, kung magiging roots siya. So i-try natin kung magiging roots nga talaga siya. 3, negative 1, negative 12, and 4. Your prospect is 1. So 1, 3 times 1, 3, add natin, multiply, add, multiply, the result is negative 10, and the remainder is negative 6. Therefore, it can't be a root. So not a root siya. So anong gagawin kung not a root? Then try another. Wag daw susuko. We try to, bidima, abimama, 3 times 2, 6, add natin, 5, 
multiply 10, add negative 2, multiply 4, negative 4, and 0. So since nag-0 ang remainder, then we can say that 2 here is one of the root pa rin ng given polynomial, negative 37x squared plus 9x to the 4 plus 4. Dalawa na sila. So if 2 is the root, ang factor natin mula dito sa root na yan is x minus 2. Kasi positive 2. Magpapalit lang siya. Negative 2. Pag pinorm mo into factor. Next, the depressed equation now is 3, 5, at saka negative 2. So we have 3x squared plus 5x minus 2. Next po. From this depressed equation, try tayo ulit. Dun, dun ka na. Sunod-sunod na tayo para maubos siya lahat. So x, if x is equal to negative 2, 3, 5, negative 2 ang coefficient. 3, 5, negative 2 from power of 2, power of 1, power of 0. And your chosen root, possible root, is negative 2. Tatry natin. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Add negative 1, multiply, then add 0. The remainder is 0, therefore this is another root. So kung another root siya, then we have another factor. The factor now is x, change the sign lang to convert. So x plus 2. If x plus 2 yan, then we have x minus 2 kanina. Tapos may 3x plus 1 sa given. We have 3 factors na. If we rewrite it in the press equation pa rin, we can now have 3x minus 1. So 3x minus 1. And 3x minus 1, the root na magagaling dyan is 1 third. But ang hinahanap natin is the factor. So, we can have 3x minus 1 na. So, apat na sila. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now, rewrite rewrite that in factored form. Yan. Ito yung given natin, si negative 37x squared plus 9x to the 4 plus 4. I rewrite natin siya in factored form. Since ang rational roots are positive negative 2 and positive negative 1 third, Ang kalalabasan for the factor is x minus 2, x plus 2, 3x minus 1, and yung given natin dito. So, the complete factorization of p of x equals negative 37x squared plus 9x to the 4 plus 4 is p of x equals the quantity 3x plus 1 times the quantity x minus 2 times the quantity x plus 2 times the quantity 3x minus 1. So, lahat ng nahanap mo plus yung given. Okay. Solve for the value of k and find the missing factor. Your given factor is x plus 1 equals 0. Kunin mo ngayon si x value which is negative 1. And si negative 1 ipapalit sa lahat ng value ng x as value ng x. So this is negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 kasi power of 3 times positive 4 is negative 4. Negative 1 to the power of 2 is 1 plus k is plus k na lang. Then this is positive 1. This is negative 1 equals 0. Next. Uh, si positive 1 at saka si negative 1 here, pag in mo, 0 na yan. So therefore, we have the value of k now equals to 4. If k value is 4, pwede mo na makompleto si polynomial. And that is, by synthetic, uh, ang polynomial natin ito ha. Si 4, tapos si k natin is 4, ipapalit mo lang. Negative 1 x, negative 1, negative 1, negative 1 din. Then, your first given factor is x plus 1. Kunin mo yung value ng x para dito kay divisor. So, negative 1. Bimama ulit. 4 times negative 1, negative 4. Add natin 0. Times negative 1, 0. Add negative 1. Times negative 1 is 1. The result is 0 kasi factor nga siya. Then, we have the depressed equation na 4x squared. Bakit x squared? Kasi po, ang highest power natin sa given ay power of 3. Itong given polynomial na yan is in the third Degree. So kung third degree yan at nagbawas ka ng factor, ang magiging result ng sagot ay second degree na kasi minus 1 sa highest exponent. So 4x squared, wala tayong x to the power of 1 kasi 0. Huwag mo nang ilagay. Then negative 1 for the constant, yun na po ang isusunod kay 4x squared equals 0. So by factoring, we have square root of 4 is 2, square root of x squared is x, kaya 2x times 2x. Square root of 1 is 1. Ayan. So, para pag chinek mo, positive 1 times negative 1, negative 1, 2x times 2x is 4x squared. And yung gitna, bakit siya nawala? Kasi pag minultiply natin to magiging 2x. Tapos pag minultiply mo naman ito, 
Itong dalawa, magiging negative 2x. And pag in mo yan, si negative 2x at si 2x, walang matitirang gitna kasi that is 0 na. Kaya, instead of power of 2, power of 1, power of 0, mawawala yung power of 1 kasi nga, 0 sa synthetic division. Next po. Uh, the question is value of k, so the answer is 4. And the missing factors are 2x plus 1 and 2x minus 1. So that means the polynomial 4x cubed plus 4x squared minus x minus 1 is equal to x plus 1 times 2x plus 1 times the quantity 2x minus 1. Yan yun yung complete factorization of a given polynomial. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye!